I'm, I'm the rescuer. I am the one that rescues. I do not need to be rescued. And so even if one of my really good friends was like, come on, like here's a shoulder, lean on me. I probably wouldn't have. I really probably wouldn't have. I tried to just lay everything on the table first of all. I was like, if I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna be all in and everybody's gonna know the good, bad, and the ugly about me. And that's just how it was. I found your information incredible and it came from a different perspective because I felt like I could um, integrate it into my life. Well, I came in originally to I guess I get find tools to leave uh, a relationship that I wasn't happy with, um, to find the courage. But I'll tell you what, in being so vulnerable and being so open with those women and seeing their openness and their vulnerability, it created the most beautiful, supportive, caring, like a hammock of love. You know, like you said, not just with our partners, but with potential partners or with, with exes or children or whatever. Um, and then you said, it can change the way you do relationships with your kids and you can change the way you teach your kids to do relationships. And I was like, what? I can, I can help my kids? I think for me, the, the thing is that it, it doesn't sort of matter so much that everybody's at a different stage. In some ways, that even help because you're not getting bogged down to we're all, we're all in this sort of same thing together. Like we are all in it together because we're all out there trying to learn the same stuff and, and to try and to better ourselves, to better our relationships. People were either like, huh, why didn't you do that 10 years ago? Or people were like, what do you mean you guys separated? Like you guys were perfect together. And I was like, well, of course we looked perfect. Like I, I did some really hard work to make that looked per look perfect. I don't think they mean to, but some friends might get a little bit judgmental and just sort of say, well, are you sure you should be doing this? Or, you know, what about that? And it's, I think a lot of people bring it back to their own experience and put the spin on it too much. Whereas in the group, everybody just seems so happy to share their experience and to listen openly to everyone else, which is amazing. These women are beautiful. And to know that, you know, most of them that we, you know, when we first started out, we never met. And then the few of us who did meet in Hawaii, it was just like a coming home. It was just being able to see people who have seen you go through so much. There's just, there's a sacredness to it. Through all the tears and the emotion, and you can feel like you're in a really dark space. You don't know how to get out of it. And then you spend half an hour with these women that all have experienced in some way what you're experiencing like there's, there's a common bond between the, the circumstances whether it's you know they've already left but they don't know what to do now or they need to leave but they don't know how to leave or they just need to fix it but they don't know how to fix it you know there's a common bond between all of those problems because it's just human relationships right we just say you know there's a there's a quote it's a really long quote, but the gist of it is, is that when I say I love you more, I don't mean that I love you more in relation to you. I love you more than all the bad stuff and I keep choosing you. And that's, that's the crux of our relationship is we love each other more than anything else.